Look at this. I'm running Red Dead Redemption 2 upscaled from 720p with FSR, and it looks amazing. But did you know you can enable FSR in any game? <laughs> this is big, you guys. Trust me. <laughs> Oh, hi everybody, TechDweeb here. So, FSR is a game changer, literally and figuratively. It literally changes your games, and it figuratively changes the game of running your games. Uh, I don't know what that sentence meant. I was just trying to be clever. But seriously, this is big, you guys. Let me show you what FSR is real quick, and then I'll show you how you can enable it in any game in Windows. And then I'll show you some visual and performance comparisons. So FSR is AMD's Fidelity FX Super Resolution, which is a pretty fancy name, I have to admit. It's a type of rendering technique that boosts frame rates by running your games at a lower resolution and then upsampling it to a higher resolution. Normally, this would yield an image with blurry edges and washed out details, but what sets FSR apart is that it uses some sharpening and detail algorithms to bring out details in the lower resolution image that make it feel like it's running at a native higher resolution. You might have heard about NVIDIA's DLSS, that's deep learning super sampling, and that, that's some seriously impressive visual results and performance boosts. Problem is that you need an NVIDIA RTX graphics cards. It's actually a hardware feature in those cards, and finding one of those cards right now is like the GPU Hunger Games. Another problem is that games have to be built with DLSS implemented, and it's not so easy as just enabling it. The developers need to create asset caches for each scene of the game so the deep learning hardware can do its thing. So for lots of newer games, and definitely most older games, DLSS won't ever be implemented. Which is a shame because, you know, it's really great. But FSR is also really great. Not quite as great as DLSS, but hey, I'll take what I can get. And the fact that it works in all these games, I'm, I'm super impressed at how good FSR can make your games look. And the performance boost is massive. So, how do we enable it in any game? Well, there's a few tools out there, but the one I'm going to show you today is called Magpie. Magpie is a little lightweight program that runs in the background. It has a few upscaling filters built in, but my favorite for running 3D games is FSR, obviously. So, to get Magpie, you need to go to their GitHub page. I'm going to link that in the description below, and you need to download the latest build zip under the assets section. Unzip this, and then when you go to run it, you'll probably be notified that you need to download the latest .NET 6.0 runtime. Uh, on this page, you'll need the Windows X64 version. Download that, install it, and then start up Magpie, and then you'll be good to go. You see from the drop down, there's a few filters to choose from. Choose uh, FSR. And, and there's a few other options I like to enable. I like to turn on run as administrator, which is sometimes needed for native Windows UWP apps. And I like to turn on the restore full screen when source window regains focus option, which just means that if you switch out of the application with alt tap or something, it, and then it, it re-enables re itself instantly when you click back to the game. And that's it. So what we need to do is get a game running in a window. Whatever resolution you run in your window is what the base starting resolution will be, and the resolution of your display in windows is what the upscaled resolution will be. So if you want to squeeze the most out of your GPU, you could run your game at something low, like 720p, and then upscale it to 1080p or 1440p. I even tried upscaling 720p to 4k, and the results blew me away to be honest. Today, I'm just going to show you what games running at 720p or 900p upscaled to 1080p. But really, you can use this to upscale anything to any resolution. Want to run games at 1080p upscaled to 4k? No problem. Who Want 1440p upscaled to 8k? What are you, a bad man? Well, you can have it if you want. Let's start with The Witcher 3. I freaking love this game. I I'm going to go into the settings and select 900p windowed. So let's turn on Magpie. Either you could use the shortcut that's shown here, but it doesn't work on my system for some reason, so I have to use this scale after 5 seconds button. Click that, go back to your window and wait a few seconds, and boom! Just like that. 900p, upscale to 1080p, with FSR filtering to add in some sharpness and detail. I think this looks great. 
Like, if you told me this was a 1080p image, I wouldn't question it. Let's do a quick comparison. Here's 1080p on the left, with 900p FSR on the right. Look how sharp those details are along the edges of objects and in the areas with texture like the trees and grass. Here's a full screen comparison. First, this is native 1080p, and then 900p FSR. Pretty impressive if you ask me. Let's push it even further. 720p upscale to 1080p. Now, it obviously doesn't look quite as crisp in the details. Look at Geralt's sword hilt there. But 720p with FSR compared to native 720p, it's not even close. It even does the text. Look, uh, 720p, the text is kind of uh, unreadable. That's one of the th reasons I hate running at re lower resolutions. But the FSR smooths that right out. Makes it feel like it's running at a much higher resolution. That's pretty cool. The performance hit from using FSR is basically non-existent mid to high range hardware. So it's a great way to run your games without taxing your system to the max. I plan on using this even on my system with a RTX 3080 because sometimes I want to run my hardware at lower clock speeds to conserve energy and not to generate so much heat. But it's the low to mid range hardware that's really going to benefit the most from this. If you're running an entry level card like a GTX 1650 or an older card like a, I don't know, like a 1050 Ti or a 960 or even really old cars like a 750 Ti. This should let you run your games at a lower resolution and then upscale them with minimal loss in performance. Your games will look like they're running at higher resolution than they are and you'll be getting that performance boost that you get by running them at low resolutions. This will also let you max out your settings more often. I'd personally rather run Shadow of the Tomb Raider at 720p with max settings upscaled to 1080p than running it with medium or low settings at native 1080p. But, you know, that's why PC gaming and tools like this are great. It lets us try stuff out, to experiment, to find the right balance of visuals and performance that's just perfect for our taste. And I have no doubt, as the, this sort of upscaling technology gets more advanced, we'll be able to squeeze every last ounce of performance from our hardware, and our eyes will be treated to some super sharp visuals that look so good that they can actually trick us into thinking they're running at higher resolution than they are. Oh, one, one downside I'll mentioned is that uh, at very low-end specs, like low-end CPU, GPU combos, or if you're running off a low-powered iGPU, like a laptop Ryzen APU, then you're gonna take an FPS hit from running this tool rather than running the games natively. I have a Ryzen 4500U laptop. I made a review of this one. Link in the description below. And, and the game looked better using this tool, and it was playable, but there were more stutters of the FPS that I had playing at native resolutions, and ultimately I decided that it wasn't gonna work on that hardware. But on every other test machine I tried this on, I, I have a machine with a 1050 Ti, a 1650, I uh, tried it with a T600, that's a cool card too. I made a video about that one, link in the description below. I have a 6700 XT and an RTX 3080. And it frankly blew me away at how well it performed on all of those cards with nice looking crisp upscaled visuals and only a tiny hit to the FPS when using the FPR upscaling, which is totally overcompensated by running the games at lower resolution. So now it's your turn. Go grab this tool and give it a try. Want to see FSR upscaling Cyberpunk from 720p to 4K? Help be my guest. I think you're going to be pleasantly surprised. And that brings us to the end. Please let me know in the comments below. What do you think of FSR? Have you tried it? Do you think it's as big a deal as I think it is? What about DLSS? Which upscaler do you think will win the upscaling wars in the next few years? I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. And while you're down there, click the thumbs up button if you like the video, or the thumbs down button if you didn't like it. Subscribe so you don't miss any of my videos. I'm TechDweeb. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. Oh my God.